And what I can't understand is uh, what is it that is keeping some reporter from simply asking the questions that are on everybody's mind? Was this person connected to the intelligence services? Where was Ghislaine Maxwell's passport last seen? Why are we not talking to Les Wexner? Where are the trading records? What is the source of the fortune? It seems to me very clear that we have a missing fortune of Robert Maxwell and an unexplained fortune of Jeffrey Epstein. Are those the same fortune? Who's asking these questions? Did everybody go to sleep when they taught journalism in school? I just don't understand. Let me tell you what happened. People started asking those questions and they stopped. And that's what idea suppression is all about. We don't have the resources to pursue that right now. Well, actually, I'm concerned that this is starting to reek of conspiracy theory. Uh, I think given the delicacies of the situation, I'm going to need a lot more evidence before I give this thing the go-ahead. These are the sorts of things that you say when you're trying to shut down a line of inquiry. And my guess is, is that whatever the story is, it represents some very powerful structure that we tripped over. And I tripped over that structure in 2002. And I was convinced at the time before there was any knowledge about this Florida situation. Um, that this was constructed. I mean, we have a very famous case of a guy named Ellie Cohn, who was fitted with a backstory and became a playboy uh, in Damascus and held orgies, if I understand correctly, where he collected information and leverage against people in the Syrian government. If you take that situation, this looks remarkably similar. We've got a guy who was apparently a math teacher at a private high school and the next thing we know uh, he's avoided jail in some sort of financial scandal and he suddenly set up as a mystery financier um, with connections to absolutely everyone in the top echelons of power something doesn't smell right about the story given that nobody appears to have ever traded currencies with a guy who was apparently moving billions as a currency trader